Hey guys, it's me and Alex here. In this video, we'll show you how we easily convert a rental car into a camper on a budget. The cheapest cities to fly into and rent a car in the U.S. are Orlando, Florida and Las Vegas, Nevada. From Orlando, you can easily do a road trip north along the east coast or drive west towards Texas. And Vegas is a great location to do the West Coast road trip or explore Grand Canyon, Death Valley, and many more locations in a, within a few days of driving. Rental price fluctuates a lot, so you should start checking it in advance, and most of the time you don't even need a credit card, so you can book it multiple times and just use the best price reservation you could find when you pick up a car. Rental car companies divide cars into different groups. Obviously the most comfortable would be SUVs and vans, but it usually costs way more to rent. We will be talking only about mid and full size rentals since it can be comfortable for two people without having to break the bank. The only car in the mid-size class we would recommend is Chevy Cruze. It's one of the most budget-friendly options we could find. Weekly rate in Orlando would cost you around $150. In 2015, we rented Chevy Cruze in Vegas and lived in the car for 10 days driving around the West Coast. The sleeping setup was a little tricky though. We used the stuff we had and the regular water bottles to even out the surface. With a camping sleeping pad on the top, it offered just enough comfort and space for two people. Full size class has a lot more options to offer. Most of the car's rear seats are foldable. However, models like the Ford Taurus, Hyundai Elantra, Nissan Altima, and the Chrysler 200, their cargo window in the back is not wide enough for two people. In 2008, we drove along the East Coast. And in 2016, we did a Gulf Coast road trip living off the Chevy Impala. In Alaska, we drove the Chevy Malibu. And then in Hawaii, we were living out of the Hyundai Sonata. And these cars were all really comfortable. All our camping gear we used fit in one carry-on backpack. You find the full list in the description below. As an optional add-on, we would recommend a foldable windshield sunscreen for some privacy and a mosquito net when you leave your window open for ventilation at night. Whenever you camp, always remember to respect your neighbors and clean up after yourself. Another thing that's really important is don't forget about the safety rules such as never sleeping in the car with the engine on and always remembering to have the windows open even if it's just a little hat. And if anything, you can check out our other videos for more road trip tips. Also, the hotel, food, and tickets if you break your bank. Video on how to build one using a ABS water pipe. Thank you guys for watching and hope you have safe trips.